Hey, welcome to our Venus Energy. Trying to get the camera to zoom in. So uh, this week we're going. There's a lot of soulmate energy that's um, that's kind of happening here. So this week I'm using um, true love energy because that has been mainly your um, your intentions for our Venus weekly reading or uh, healing. Of course, I will also be using connection and contact um, a lot of communication because communication with communication you have better outcomes of res resolving you know situations and issues in your love life now I have this is the new Venus altar so I created this altar because of course I'm I work a lot with Venus <laughs> Uh, I don't have to tell you guys that because you're here every week and for all the you those of you that um, just um, stepped into my channel welcome uh, so this beautiful weekly energy we do almost every week so far we've done it every single week and uh, this week is a lot of love so a lot of romance and I um, I got some amazing special um, oils that I've been working on so um, I don't know if you've gone into my shop yet. I have the True Love oil. It's called the Love Spell True Love oil. Um, you can tell because some of the candles are taking in. They're turning off. And it's because I really oiled them up to add a lot of energy to your intentions. So of course, if they get too wet, that's what happens. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I wanted to add a lot of uh, true love energy because like I said, July is about the next chapter in your life. And, oh, that one really doesn't want to turn on. So we're connecting with the goddess of Venus and this altar is dedicated to her. So I have a lot of goodies on it that um, reflect her energy and... It's like, um, where, where's my apple? I don't see my apple. I had a spot be behind me. But I usually have, you know, fruits and stuff that represent her. Like I have, you know, different offerings. Because when you do spells, especially when you work with goddesses and uh, spirits in general, you know, they're regular people like you and me. Just like you pay me to do this work for you, I do offerings to them to do the work through me for you. <laughs> I know, it's a bit complex. So, you know, offerings uh, to Venus could be apple is number one because that is uh, the apple is associated with, you know, the goddess of love. But um, I also do grapes because I do also a lot of abundance uh, with love, with, you know, unconditional love, abundance and communication. You know, everything is that you always ask for is always in the essence and energy of abundance. I'm having fun lighting them this week. What do you think? All right, can get those to light up. I think I overdid the oils. So what I do with the candles prior to putting them here on the altar is that I give them a lot of energy a lot of herbs and of course I scribe on your candles and then I add them to this little Venus energy and then I put um, the beautiful energy of flowers you can see flowers everywhere all right so here we go beautiful goddess of love we invoke your essence and your energy as we light every single candle that has a specific energy a specific individual that has came into our sacred space to align with the essence and energy of true love. We thank you for always being part of our world, beautiful goddess of love. As we connect all of these individuals with their soulmate energy, their true loves, with attracting their true loves into their lives, a lot of forgiving one another, connecting with one another, having those conversations, but in loving manners. 
so they could align with their bliss and their joys and their happiness. Also courage, giving them the courage to say and connect with their true loves. Being able to call them and contact them, to have those conversations, asking them out, and aligning with that beautiful energy of love. Thank you, beautiful Goddess Venus. So many have come here and are using this beautiful sacred space for connection. We ask that everyone that comes into the sacred space aligns with their true love. If they haven't met their true love, we ask that you synchronize the energy so they can meet their true loves, their soulmates, their partners, their best friends, connecting them with bliss and happiness and joy. We're truly grateful for being able to do this each and every week in alignment with the allness, the oneness, and the onlyness in the shaker space as we come here just to intend, visualize, and see what we desire. This one has like a really long wake. I didn't even notice. Like, look at this. Like, what is this? That's going to be fun. A lot of energy this week. So this altar that you see, if you look here on this side, which would, uh, it's, uh, well, I'm facing it, so it'll be my left, I'm sure it'll be your left too. Um, these are my honey energies. So usually, actually like 98% of my contacts are love contacts. They're estranged lovers that have left them, blocked them, uh, different energies. So what I do is I do petitions and I add the petitions to these honey energies. Now what this does, it creates like a loving, like a sweetness, you know? Um, like a joy euphoric energy so the person wants to connect you know because they're thinking about them they're dreaming about them there's a lot of you know energy with why am I thinking about this person why do I want to talk to this person so eventually they do make that connection sometimes what people don't understand sometimes that connection is that they'll go to your social media and they'll like one of your pictures that's connection I know that a lot of you are wanting them to call you come over contact you know text and that does happen you know but not all the time because you have to understand everybody has specific situations you know um just like you fear contacting them they fear contacting you so you have to look at the energy from outside you know what i do is i keep this energy here for a whole week for seven days and this altar is always on. Um, right now, I have the seven power candles that you see in the back. Of course, it has the Venus. Um, I use the bells to cleanse, to clear it. The fruits are always fresh. I have tiger's eye all around in a sacred sphere to bring that courage, that um, energy, um, Usually people that work with tiger's eye are bold because tiger's eye is a stone of vision, a stone of clarity. A lot of people that use tiger's eye usually work with their third eyes, with a lot of uh, spiritual energy. Um, they're fearless. So I want to create that energy for all of you because usually people that are coming in here is because they're lacking some kind of courage. So the spirit, especially Venus, asked that we use the energy of Tiger's Eye. Because I'm more of a amethyst, rose quartz. Um, in the back, I have citrine to open up those doors. And so in connect communication, that's what you want. You want the doors of communication to open. So this is why I wanted to share this with you all. Um, 
some of you that when you get the Venus energy, I try to send in um, the Venus picture so you could create. Next week, finally, since the Venus kits went out, um, some of you already have it. We will start to do the Venus energy together. Um, if you already have it, you could start this week. So for the Venus energy, it's really simple. You want to get your candle. Let me show you. Look at all the energy that one in the front has. Do you see that? Like, you could tell, like, some of the energies that associate with the candle. Look at that. It's like two, two flames coming together. Making one big flame. That's why I can't leave this alone. This is why I had a huge mess up last week. Okay, so um, your candles, they look um, something like this when you get your Venus kits. And what I do is I will write um, more communication because that's what I'm seeking in my own love life. So I will scribe more communication. And then I will write my husband's name. Write over more communication and my name. doesn't have to be perfect. I know a lot of you are like, how do I do it? Give me the step-by-step -step one, two. Now, so since I'm working with more communication, I'm going to use my communication oil. And I will tap. And I will say more communication between me and my husband. I am happy and grateful that I have more communication between me and my husband. That we're able to talk things through, come to a compromise, share our thoughts in loving ways. In the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. I like to use the sacred trinity, but that's my belief. You could close it how you want. It always works. It's always a blessing. So much to be. Now these are my unblocking candles, which I still haven't put in my shop. They're going, they're going in there. And then I'll just add this energy to my altar. So you could create your own little altar, you know, however you feel. Um, a lot of you have shared your beautiful altar pictures with me. Thank you for that. Um, a lot of you have asked me how to do, like, how do you get an altar in my space? So I have this special on my Etsy shop. If you don't want to do it through Etsy, if you do it through Etsy, it's $5.55. So what you get with that listing, because I know it's a, it's a big price, but with that listing, you get your moon box every single month. You get your own altar that I am constantly working on and changing through the week and through the energies sometimes we have yeah full moon new moon but sometimes we have full moon new moon crescent moon uh equinox in block <laughs> solstice like there's so many different energies that i work with sometimes as i'm doing you know changing spirit will be like she needs this or he needs that you know so your altar could be i like to focus on one pivotal energy but we can have different intentions. I've had altars that I work on uh, on marriage, you know, and then not just the marriage, but then, you know, she'll be like, well, my husband needs a promotion. So we'll add that energy to the altar. So, um, so I work the altar. You get pictures. Sometimes I'll send you like little videos, like if I see anything in the altar. So you're constantly getting and connecting with your spiritual guides through me. Um, it is your altar. Nobody's going to see it but you. I will send you. Um, so we'll talk more than likely by text. Um, I like to text back and forth because it's just easier for me to grab my phone if I have to film a video or send you a message because Spirit said something. So through the 555 deal, you get the altar full month, 30 days. From the moment that you pay, we start until then, you know, the 30 days. Um, and you get your moon box with the moon box 
it's different because I address it to you according to spirit. Spirit will tell me, well, they need uh, this energy. So I'll send you candles, perfumes, oils, um, I don't know, crystals, different things. Like I never know what spirit says. Um, I know that I'm working now on the new besoms, which are the witch's brooms for protection in the house. So if some of you have issues with protection, you'll get that. Like it all just depends. Just know that it's created for you. If you get it um, through Square, I could do it for uh, 52222. So, and that's for that. I don't do a lot of altars. I don't want this to get like too, too hot. So I have to be like watching everything. I burn myself so much. It's not even funny. Um, so let me know if you want to do it through Etsy. I'll link it below because I totally understand. But if you want to save a little bit and get it through Squarespace, I'll do it through Squarespace. Now, with that, it doesn't mean that's not on call psychic. It's not the same thing. That doesn't mean that you, you know, that I'm going to be sending you readings or we're going to be texting back and forth. No, it's, it's a simple altar that I'm working on that I'm doing for you with all the energy. Anything I see, of course, I'll send you. If I get messages, I'll send you. You get your moon box. You know, it's like me working for your energy, but it's not on call psychic, uh, you know, because a lot of people <laughs> are constantly sending me all of their problems and their paragraphs and their books. And, you know, and I, and I love, I want to help everyone, but just know that that does take time for me to go through everything, you know, um, for the on calls, I have a special, so it's, that's on my Etsy. Um, I don't remember exactly how their price is, but I know it starts July 25th. So you get from July 25th through, so it'll be July, August, September, October to October 22nd. So you do, you short of the three month by give or take a few days. Reason for that is because October, I work a lot of magic in October. That's like when us spiritual beings are at our mostest so i try to do a lot of energy work that is kind of like our new years for witches and that's when we take in a lot of energy and a lot of the tools that i use throughout the year i create during halloween time <laughs> so that is on my etsy shop with that yes that you could text me every day and i'll text you back and we get readings and we even chat once a week via phone. You could, we'll talk, we'll do readings, whatever you need. Um, that is different because now, you know, it's more personal. I only have, I think, one available because I, somebody else told me that they wanted one. So I'll link that below. But you could always message me through email on silvermiss1305 at Yahoo. And I could send you the details. All right. I think that's uh, pretty much it. So do you see how our Venus energy is really simple and it just burns like these little candles. They last for a few hours and they take a lot of energy. Now look at this. That's why I'm telling you like energy is like so real. These were the last ones, right? That we turned on. That back one back there was our first one that we turned on. Look how small these are. This one gone. So that like zapped up a lot of energy so doing this each week is pretty amazing because spirituality is every week you know it's every day it's setting those intentions every day scripting every day um so yeah that's what i wanted to share with you all finally i have the new moon i'm oh, sorry the the moon boxes coming out for august I know Stephanie wanted me to fix my Patreon. I will do that because I didn't know the Patreon you could only pick one tier. I'm so sorry, guys. Thank you, Stephanie, again for sharing that with me. So I'm working on that. Yeah, I'm a little behind. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to share this beautiful Venus energy. Um, this week, um, Spirit is telling you to take it easy. The, um, you're going to feel very tired, exhausted, and that is the energy of just kind of calming down. You know, don't overstress because a lot of you are coming to my page and you're you're like really exasperated and going through it. And um, 
you don't understand that spiritual work takes time. You know, you think that because I cast a spell for you right now, that's going to happen right now. It's just going to stop everything on its track and just, and that's just not how it works. So you have to allow the energy. You can't come to me when the bomb has exploded and expect me to just take it all back. It takes time, people. I've worked with some of you for months and even years for you to get to a place that you are kind of like happy. <laughs> you know, I, I see it in my life. You know, it's a lot of work. And especially right now that we're all undergoing such massive shifts and changes you know um archangel michael we invoke your essence and your energy on this beautiful venus connection of true love of healing of forgiveness you know forgiving one another extending that connection to get everyone that comes into this beautiful sacred space to fully connect with one another to compromise so they could come to an understanding and to let go of all fear and blocks. We ask that you cleanse and you clear us all, that you heal our energies and our line our chakras so that we are at one with the Almighty, the oneness, the unity, the divine energy. We thank you, Archangel Michael, for always being part of our world and for always sharing this beautiful cobalt blue energy with us. Um, we will be doing more healing with you, Archangel Michael, through this course of shifting and new beginnings. And we invoke you and invite you into our lives so we could heal in a loving, calming manner. Thank you so much, Archangel Michael. Thank you, beautiful Venus, for always sharing this love energy as we move forward into our next chapter. Amen. And so it is. And it always works. It's always a blessing, so multi. So yeah, this week you're gonna be tired and maybe even fatigued. Some of you might feel some sadness and emotions. That is the energy that we're feeling because so much is going on, and uh, we are all empaths. Every single person is an empath. I think it's funny when people say, "Oh my God, it's because I'm an empath." Yeah, we're all empaths. I feel you. You could feel me. It's we're all connected and I feel like once we realize that because the humans haven't really understood that we are a tribe we are a union and once we get over this discord you know and we come together and we understand and we respect what are another's differences our world will really really shift and that's what the era of Aquarius is is us you know, coming out of these shells and being assertive, but in a loving manner. Um, you know, a lot of people tell me, oh my God, you're so nice. And then I'll get some that'll be like, that I'm bold and I've even gotten, you're mean. Well, it, you know, you have to understand when you come to me, I'm going to be as honest as possible. And if you come to me with snark and attitude, because I didn't give you the attention that you wanted at the moment that you want it, I will share my assertiveness, you know, but I'm always really loving and I'm always respectful. So I expect the same because, you know, my thing is do unto others as you want others to do unto you. So if you want to manifest a lot of positivity in your life, you might want to start at home. If you're a positive person, you reciprocate as a mirror and that is what's going to shine forth over to you. But if you're mean, or if you share negativity, or if you are a doubter, like I'll get, you know, we do these beautiful rituals for you, and you don't realize them right away, then you put doubt and you bring on self-fulfilling prophecies. Let all that go. Energy takes time. And always believe, because those of you that stay determined and believe will have all of your life's desires manifesting in your life. Once again, thank you. I think I've shared enough. I will see you on Monday.